Learning target 1.13. I can define and write a balanced equation for gamma decay. So gamma decay occurs when a nucleus is left in a very, very excited state. And this can be done by uh, many things, but um, all that's important is that it's excited. It's, that means it has a lot of energy. So let's look at our example in the box below. Helium-3 yeah, helium has a lot of energy. Okay, It is very ener energetic, and it needs to somehow relieve the energy. So what it's going to do, it's going to undergo what we call gamma decay. And all it's going to do, it's going to go from an excited or high energy state, high energy, to a low energy state. And the way it does that is by releasing a photon. What is a photon? Not a little tadpole, but it is light. This is what is happening in the sun right now. This exact equation. Helium-3, which is what our sun's mostly made of, is decaying, going through gamma decay, and creating light. And those photons, or light particles, are what is lighting up our, our world. Okay? So let's write a balanced equation for this type of decay. So in this particular example, we started with helium-3, which again is a helium atom with two protons and a total mass of three decays into helium-3 again, and the only difference is that it's lower energy, but I don't need to, to show that in the um, isotope symbol, but I do need to rep, uh, recognize that it released some energy, and the way I'm going to show the energy that it released is by putting this symbol, and that symbol stands for gamma. Okay, and that represents a gamma ray or a photon. Okay, the word gamma ray was invented, or not invented, but coined by the scientist uh, Rutherford, which we talked about when we were talking about the gold foil experiment. So anyways, a couple things to notice is that all these numbers stay the same, including the actual element we're looking at, and the only difference is the particle we write as the Greek letter, gamma. So this is the balanced equation, and that is gamma decay. Our individual example for learning target 1.13 asks us to, in the space below, write the equation for the gamma decay of cobalt-60, placing the box around the daughter isotope. So pause the video here, and resume when you want to check your answer. So, the first thing we need to realize is the parent isotope, cobalt-60. So I write cobalt and I know the mass is 60, and then I look up on the periodic table and I see that cobalt has a atomic number of 27. And what I need to do is I need to write my balanced equation. So it's going to decay because it's in an excited state. It will decay into a less excited cobalt 60, but it'll also emit some light or a gamma ray. Okay, again, this is light energy. Some of it we can see as physical light, and some of it is just high, high energy um, gamma rays. Okay, again, gamma rays are very dangerous. This is one of the most dangerous type of decays that can happen. Okay, this type of decay can penetrate our skin, and it can cause some serious damage. Okay, so this is the... Um, the Gamma decay for cobalt-60. Last thing I need to do is I need to place a box around my daughter isotope. So again, this is my daughter isotope. Cobalt-60.